Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how I have created this beautiful social media performance dashboard in Microsoft Excel. This is the overview page wherein we are showing the total number of posts and this is total impression, total likes, total comments and total clicks. So here we are showing the all input and metrics on the top. Then we are showing the number of posts by the platform. We have taken here six platforms and we are showing the number of posts. And then here we are showing the engagement rate and this is the number of posts by the campaign and this is number of posts by the month. On the right hand side we have given the slicers so you can easily click on any slicer then you can see the whole dashboard is getting changed. Okay, you can filter the data as per your requirement. On the left hand side, we have given the navigation pan wherein we have currently at uh, overview seat. And if I click on the platform performance, it will take me to the platform performance seat tab. So here we are showing the total impression by the different platforms and total likes by the different platform and engagement rate by the platform this is in percentage okay again you can see it by content type or you can see it by posted by platform as you want now here we have given the campaign analysis and uh, in the campaign analysis we are showing the total impression by campaign and this is the total share by the campaign and this is uh, engagement rate percentage by the campaign and again you can filter the data as you want now the next one is the team performance and here in the team performance we are showing the total impression by posted by and total click by posted by and this is the engagement rate percentage by posted by and again all the filters are working with the slicers the next one is the timeline trends so here we are showing the total impression by the month and this is total share by the month and this is engagement rate percentage by the month this is the dynamic and the interactive dashboard you can simply update your new data as you want i will show you how you can add your data and how you can refresh this dashboard so let's go to the file and then go to the options and go to the advanced here and just scroll it down and we can see here one option that is so C tab just check this and click on OK at bottom we can see all the C tabs are available here these five C tabs are for the dashboard purpose and then we have the data so let me show you the data we have here post ID you can put any post ID if you want otherwise you can put here simple number also like one two three and then here we have the platform you are publishing this to the youtube facebook linkedin okay you can put the platform name then this is the content type like the post type is the text or the image or the video real story you can just put that here then this is the campaign and this is the posted by and this is the post date here we are showing the total impression on that particular post and this is reach, like, comment, share, like, uh, clicks and then the next is the month and year. Okay, Month and year we have created using the formula from the posted date. You can see this is the text function and this is also the text function. Now on the support sheet, we have created a lot of pivot tables. So we have created the pivot table for number of posts, total impression, total likes. These all we have created. Then here we have created the platform buys. Here we have created for the engagement rate. On the overview page, we have created this beautiful battery chart. So here we are creating the table for the battery chart. And uh, here you can see we are just taking the value from here and this one also okay and rest we have just put it in the formula then we have created some other pivots also and here we have put the next page name that is platform performance and we are creating the pivots for the platform performance then the next page name that is campaign analysis these three are for the campaign analysis and the next one is the team performance this is for the timeline trends 
so this is totally customizable dashboard and you can change these pivot table as per your requirement you can change any chart as per your requirement this seat is protected however we haven't put any password to protect that you can simply go to the review tab and just say unprotect seat that will be unprotected now i will show you how we have created this type of cards and some charts also so what i'm going to do i'll just add a new seat here and i will show you on this new seat first how we have created this background design so we just have used the various excel shapes just go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here now insert the excel shapes so just go to the shapes and let's say i'm taking this shape top one around it and just drag that here the bigger one and just pick this yellow handle and move to the left hand size left hand side and then here you can just uh, take some lighter color in the background let's say i'm taking this one if you want to remove the outline you can just say no outline here then we have taken we have created this shape then we have taken on the top the header shape so to create the header you can simply go to the insert again and shapes and let's take this shape then drag that here over this and reduce the corner as per the background rectangle and just make this smaller like this you can take the this shape outline and say the weight of the outline should be half point and here you can fill this color or a little darker okay so that is how we have created then you can input here one text box or you can take here this word art also and you can put your dashboard name whatever dashboard name you like you can put here social media performance dashboard or whatever you want in the center and you can take the white font so that is how we have put that here and now uh, to create the charts and the other things you can simply take the various let's go to the insert and then insert the another rectangle here so let's say we are taking here that is rounded corner and just drag that here now you can take the safe fill as no fill and uh, you can take the or take the white fill shape outline you can keep this outline and take weight as half point so that is how we have created these type of rectangles and you can provide some shadow also so just go to the safe effect shadow and let's take this shadow then here you can just uh, insert one text box let's take this text box and drag that here click on the outline of this text box go to the formula bar press equal to and come to the support seat let's say i want to show the total impression so let's click here so this header will appear and uh, you can just go to the home go to the shape format and say no fill and no outline make this bold and take the color let's say this one align this center and middle just make the duplicate of this Control d and let's keep this here go to the formula bar press equal to now from the support sheet you can just click here so it might take this get pivot data in your case so you can delete this from here and this one also just take the h4 and enter so we can see the uh, number here and make this this color little darker and slightly bigger okay so that is how you can create this card okay and we have created this one here friends if you want to learn the dashboard in more details how we can create this type of charts and the battery charts and the some other charts you can join our course we have given the link in the video description box wherein we have explained each and everything in detail we have explained a lot of advanced chart there as well as how to create the calculated field and the other parts of the pivot tables and then how you can create the beautiful dashboards also so you can join our course and inside that course we have given each and every practice file so that you can practice with me during this course all right friends so you can join that the link is given in the video description box friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching